In quantum physics, we deal with operators like position, momentum, and Hamiltonian, some vectors or states that show the state of a system, and also some complex numbers which are some coefficients or expectation values. In this video, we are going to talk about commutators which are defined for operators and are really important as you'll see from now on. In order to deal with commutators, they should be used on functions or the states so we can see how they operate. In other words, there are some operators to check if the order of operators acting on states is important or not. Let's check these commutation relations for the components of the position operators and see whether we can use them without being worried about what their order is. The commutator of x with itself is 0. And the commutator of x and y is also 0. Actually, for each two position components, you can check that the commutator is zero. Let's do the same thing for the components of the momentum operator. Again, we end up having the same result and see that these components are also commutable. But what about the commutation relation for x and px? As you can see, it is not commutable and equal to ih bar. So, we should pay attention to the order of using these two operators. We can say the same thing for y and z. And if we want to change the order of x, px, we should add an ih bar to the expression. Let's check the commutator for x and py. As you can see, the result is zero, and we can safely use x, py, and pyx interchangeably. And this is the compact form of writing all that is said using the well-known Kronecker delta function. To sum up, these are the commutation relations for the components of position and momentum operators.